Have you encountered the 500 internal server error while loading a web page on a website? In this video, we'll explain how you can fix it. But first, let's understand what a 500 internal server error is. As the name implies, it indicates a general problem with the website server. More than likely, this means there's an issue or a temporary glitch with the website's programming. What causes it? Well, there could be several possible reasons, including corrupted or broken HD access file, faulty third-party plugins or themes, PHP memory limit being exceeded and permissions error. Can you fix it? Fortunately, there are a few effective solutions for fixing most of these problems. If it's a temporary loading issue, you might find success if you reload the page. Since the error is on the server side, give it a few minutes and then reload the link and see if the development team has fixed the issue. If clearing the browser history doesn't work, you might try deleting your browser's cookies. Head to down for everyone or just me.com and paste in the URL while you are seeing the internal server error. You'll either be told that the website is only down for you or that the website is down for everyone. Troubleshoot as a 504 gateway timeout error instead. If you're in luck, this may solve your problem. 